If it's nostalgia time, then it is time to jump right into these vintage ads. Okay, a wrinkle. I'm getting old. I mean, you have to learn how to take a selfie and you need a filter. This girl, they did her they did her wrong. It looks, you know, she's holding this mirror and you know what I'm thinking when she's holding it. I'm like, she's looking in her smartphone. She's like, this will not work on Instagram. All right. <laughs> middle-aged hands oh my goodness they're not even looking at her face they're looking at her hands middle age I so how old is middle age is it 40 is it 50 is it 60 is it 30 did it change can you let me know let me know in the comments in the 50s what was considered middle age okay my husband and I like to laugh because we watch we watch these old movies and it's like the old cowboy movies or old cowboy TV shows and usually the guy is like I'm 50 years old but the guy usually looks like 150 years old and he's like what were they doing back then the 50 year old men or was it fake like were we supposed to think they were 50 have that ever happened to you we were like it was like George Washington came out he was wheeled out and he's like I'm 50 years old and we're like I don't know. The other thing that we love from the old shows is, is that they always, right before the cowboy shows, right before they get knocked off, they always, they always, uh, they've turned on the good guys and they go to the bad guy and they're like, hey, are you going to pay me? And then a bad guy goes, you'll get what you deserve. And then the guy is like, oh, good, good. And then they shoot him. And I'm like, oh, don't ask that. Don't, you know, if you hear, you'll get what you deserve. So in our house, when like, I'm like, oh, are you going to make me this, make me breakfast or something? And my husband's like, you'll get what you deserve. And I'm like, uh-oh. Okay, middle-aged hands often make people add three to five years to your age. Oh, my goodness. I bite my fingernails. So, like, does that make me look young in my mind? Only a kid would bite their fingernails. So I must look 10 Yet it's easy to guard against those crisscross knuckles. Um, <clears throat> I'm doing this before coffee. Can you hear it? A wrinkle on your knuckles. That coarsening of skin. Protect your hands in the dishpan. Okay, okay. I've got to do dishes anyway. So, what is this palm olive? I mean, yesterday we did palm olive, right? Okay. Don't use ordinary wash day soaps for dishes that sounds good they weren't made to protect sensitive skin those other guys they didn't even think about this woman they didn't even care okay but ivory soap was give your hands a gentle ivory bath every time you wash dishes so this sounds nice it's like we want to pamper you why couldn't they just do it from that approach why couldn't they just be like we want to pamper you. You're going to be doing it anyway. Have a spa day. Why do they have to do us wrong like this and say you have middle aged hands? I mean, I guess it works, but like, this is two fronts. Come, I, I would much more be like, hey girls, want a spa or something like this? Or today, hey guys, give your hands a gentle ivory bath every time you wash dishes. You'll be surprised how nice your hands stay. Uh, I, you know, I'm not into ivory. I tend to think of it, I don't like the strong perfumes. I'm like, I'm one of those people that like, you wear a perfume or a cologne and I'm like <laughs> sniffing you and I'm like, you know, some people have allergies in this world. <laughs> you know, I can't stand strong perfume. Now my, my grandma always used Charlie. Have you ever heard of Charlie? So I have a special place in my heart for Charlie perfume. But otherwise, like, I think it may be a generational thing. I don't I don't like heavy perfumes and colognes. Tell me if I'm wrong, if the generational thing is wrong. Like, and when somebody's wearing it, I'm just like, what are they covering? You know, so forgive me. This is like maybe my bias, but I'm not into the very strong. Like, I'm like, give me something natural. Okay, and ivory, what is ivory made? Ivory is not made of ivory from like elephants, right? So what is it? What is it? What is ivory? Another surprise, ivory soap actually costs less to use for dishes than wash day chips and powder. What's a chip? They had chips and powders? I, for your hand, for the soap, for the dishwasher, not for the dishwasher. Dishwasher, I know about powders. 
but I've never used for my sink. Is that what, they, or they, is, was there no dishwashers? There was dishwashers, right? Oh, oh my goodness. I feel so silly. I just realized they're not, they might not have had dishwashers. They were all just washing by hand. I'm really showing myself. Oh my goodness. So they use chips and powders for their sink. And did most people back then, they just dried it on like a dish rack or a towel. How did things get done? Okay. Ivory soap actually costs less. So make ivory your dishing soap, dishwashing soap today. Ask for practical large size ivory. Would you ever do that? Would you ever go to the store and be like, I would like for practical this size ivory, please. Okay. He says, keep your hands young, wash dishes with ivory soap. It is 99, 44, over 100% pure. Okay. What is it pure? What is pure? Somebody tell me what is pure. Is this, this is real. I, did they use real ivory? I know that Coca-Cola used to use a certain product that will not be named on YouTube that made it like real Coca-Cola. I feel so scandalous saying it, but what, what is this here? And also, can they make up their mind? She doesn't look like she's looking at her hands. She looks like they look like they're trying to show her eyes. So are we to put ivory dish soap on our eyes? Please let me know in the comments. <laughs> okay. I feel like we're really learning. And I, one thing I just wanted to share with you about these is I had an idea is that anytime you have like, you're sitting down for a coffee or you're sitting down for a little bite that you would come and do nostalgia with me because we will learn about this time. It'll bring back memories, but I think it will also, I think by the end of watching this, we're all going to have really nice hands <laughs> and we're all going to have really nice hair and we might all smoke lucky. No, I'm joking. Don't do that. Uh, so let me know if I should avoid those. I've, I've been seeing all those lucky ads and I was like, I want to do a lucky ad. So let me know what you think. I did get the message about sea monkeys, sea monkeys. Okay. Thanks for joining me on Hearth and Home Nostalgia and make sure you subscribe.